Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jennifer, and today I am going to be showing you everything that I got for my baby shower. So if you want to see what I registered for, some things I didn't register for, uh, some things that were handmade, just go ahead and keep watching. So this is everything that I got for my baby shower um, during COVID. Uh, things were a little different. A lot of people couldn't make it because um, just of different restrictions depending on where everybody is from or their comfort level, which is fine. Um, so a lot of stuff was sent to us, um, we, but we did have a baby shower. If you are throwing your shower for somebody um, now or down the road or whatever and you just want some ideas um, if you guys stay till the end of the video I'm going to share with you some of my favorite um, highlights of our baby shower I did not record it because I just wanted to kind of be in the moment and just enjoy um, the time with um, friends and family uh, but my sister-in-law did a great job with the shower and I want to share with you guys some of the ideas that she had that I just loved so much and um, were very helpful too. Uh, down below there will be a timeline so if you guys are interested in certain items or whatever uh, you guys can shuffle through the video and uh, kind of pick and choose what you want to see. Alright so I don't know um, a lot of stuff needs to get sterilized, um, washed, like clothes stuff wise. So I might open up some stuff just because I want to um, make sure that all that stuff gets washed and everything. Alright, so let's just go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with pacifiers because I just happen to have them right here. Uh, this is a, is this called a Sweetie um, Pal? It looks like a, just like one of those um, Wubba Nubs and it's a sloth. So it has a little sloth and you has a pacifier, you just clip it on. Now this is another Wubbanub type um, pacifier and this is a, it looks like a walrus, super cute. <laughs> um, I'm just going to apologize now if I say the word cute, uh, I think everything is cute. <laughs> uh, but this one is um, zero plus months as far as the pacifier so this would be something that we can use like right away if we wanted. Uh, this is one of those um, mushy uh, pacifier clips and it's this really pretty blue color and it does have a few um, wood beads on it. Uh, we did get this mini um, sterilizer. It's a portable uh, pacifier cleaner so you can clip it right onto your diaper bag and if you need to clean a pacifier it says it cleans 99.99% of all bacteria and viruses. I know that there are certain pacifiers that you can and can't use with this. Um, but we do have um, some of the Advent um, pacifiers, which it looks like that's what's in this picture right here. But I'm, I have to double check which ones we can and can't use. But still, it will uh, come in handy for sure. Uh, I've heard really good things about these. These are like those mittens so that when baby is teething that... Uh, they can like chew on this um, like rubber piece. This one is has cactus prints on it, and uh, I'm not sure when they. Oh, it says three plus months. So, so I'll have to look to see how I can just clean this part. I'm not sure if you can just like throw this in the wash or not. But this is one of those uh, itsy ritzy um, uh, silicone teethers. Uh, these are wooden teethers. I was so excited to get these. And I haven't even opened them yet because I don't know why, but um, but they are, this is like a little deer. Um, this is an elephant shape one. Looks like a little fish and a bird. And they're supposed to be safe for your baby to chew on. So, uh, uh, so I will report back on um, how that goes. Um, this set right here is the Como Tomo bottle set. It comes with um, four bottles. Two are five ounces and two are eight ounces. And then it comes with, um, it looks like three nipples for each stage, which is zero to three months, three plus months, and six plus months. Um, so I'm really excited about that. I'll show you guys if you haven't seen. I'm sure you guys have seen these or something similar. 
Um, but I'll show you, show you one of the bottles. Uh, so this is what the bottle looks like. It's squishy down here, and it has it comes with a lid for each one, and it seems super easy to unscrew. And all these pieces come apart, so you can make sure that you um, wash them properly. Um, I am planning on breastfeeding, but I do want to um, have uh, my husband and our daughter um, help with feedings and everything like that eventually, so I will be pumping, uh, which brings me next to um, some pumping stuff that I got. I did get two different kinds of breast milk bags just because I wasn't sure. Both had great reviews, and I'll end up using them both. Um, the pump that I have, which was given to us by a really good friend of ours, um, she wasn't using it, and she's letting me use it, which is awesome. Um, it is a Modelo pump, so I don't know. Naturally, I put one of these on my, on my registry as well. So we will see how that works. Um, another thing I got in the breastfeeding category are these organic um, pads to absorb like any um, milk that like when you're not uh, pumping or breastfeeding and it comes with a little like a laundry bag um, which is awesome and I believe that there's um, six pairs in here one two three yeah so there's six pairs um, of um, pads in here and you can reuse them I know some people just buy the ones that you can just throw away I wanted to um, try to use these ones and see how they worked um, so, if anything, I might get some ones that are disposable, but I'm going to really try just to use these. I, I also got one of these hakas, um, and it is a um, silicone breast pump, and it's for when you are um, feeding on one side and you are trying to collect, um, and you're trying to collect the letdown um, from your other side. You don't want to waste um, any milk, so... If you haven't seen one, I got the one that has, it's this one, and it is a, I can't remember, oh, it's a five ounce, and it comes with this, like, little flower, and I imagine, it has a suction on the bottom, so I imagine that you, oh, yeah, so I didn't try it on this little table, um, it suctions to the table so that it doesn't knock over an accident, and then you spill all your milk. Uh, this is the little flower and you just put it right in here. You don't have to push down very hard and that way it doesn't like if it does tip over um, the flower is supposed to just probably help stop it from uh, falling over and your milk spilling. Alright let's go into um, like feeding stuff. Uh, we got this bamboo um, suction cup holder and a uh, spoon set and show you what it looks like so this is what the the bowl looks like and it has suction on the bottom uh, the handle is wooden and then this is like a silicone material we won't be using this for a while I imagine um, but at least when the time comes and we're ready to use it we can Oh, we got all these cute bibs. I'm so excited. Uh, these are by, um, these ones are from Copper and Pearl. Uh, I love their quality of all their stuff, whether it is um, uh, their bibs or clothes or anything. So um, it comes with, this one comes with a little truck print, uh, camo print. This one has like a bunch of tools on it. And this is just a uh, black and white um, kind of design. Uh, this set is um, also bibs, obviously, and it is by Parker Baby Company. Uh, this one is a white bib, and it has black speckles on it. Um, we have a black and gray stripe. This is just a solid gray, white, uh, gray. <laughs> uh, this is a solid black one. And this is a like a checkered black and white one and this one is white and it has like gray stripes so I think we are all set on um, bibs at least these cloth ones uh, this is a another bib but this is for when baby starts eating um, food so it's uh, I think that you just like you put it on them like this and then it catches like any like food and it it's a um, feels like a silicone. Oh yeah, silicone bib. So I'm gonna say it feels like a silicone material. And this is like a green um, sage color. 
again, another thing that we will probably be using for a while, but will come in handy when we do. This is made of silicone as well, and it expands. For shelf space, it does collapse, which comes in handy when you have a bunch of stuff. So, <laughs> um, but when baby is ready to have snacks, you can put like Cheerios or just, I mean, whatever they're eating inside of here and they can hold on to it. There's two um, handles and if they knock it over or anything, this will like prevent it from uh, spilling all over at least. And it does come with this lid. Now we did get a Boone Lawn um, bottle uh, drying rack thing and it comes with, well, we got this with it. Uh, this is one of those uh, the trees to hold like the nipple tops and um, and stuff So I did get the white one. I know there is a white and green one This is the exact one. I wanted I wanted just the plain white one. I didn't want the one with the green uh, base or whatever So I got this and then this I might need um, another one of these but at least I have one to uh, See if that's enough and if I need to get more than um, I can always get another like little what is it, twig is called. I was really excited about this Munchkin uh, brush uh, cleaner because it has a little attachment on the bottom and it screws into the bottom of this, the base, like the, the actual piece. And the base has a suction uh, cup so you can suction it to like the inside of your sink so that it's not laying and uh, just collecting like uh, mold or anything like that so it can actually like dry properly so I'm really excited about this one uh, since we were just talking about bottles I'll go right into these uh, these are uh, birth cloths there I believe that there's 12 of them in here um, and they're just Muslim uh, birth cloths and uh, super simple that's exactly what I like is just very simple so uh, I'll probably just like wash all of these have some up here have some downstairs uh, like in our bedroom in the master bedroom where baby will be uh, there's definitely enough for us to have some just randomly throughout the house just in case you need them all right let's get into swaddles um, these swaddles that we got they're by swaddle me and they look pretty simple to use. I've never used these before. Um, and here. So there was three different designs and I'll have to practice because <laughs> I'm not uh, sure. But there's a big red, red lettering, this big red lettering on here that says stop swaddling when baby can roll from back to stomach. Okay, I think I knew that, but just in case. Um, I'm going to have to see how this works. I imagine it's pretty easy, but um, so there is um, this print with, it's white and it has black uh, little triangles. This one is a solid gray one. And this one is white and it has X's and O's all over it. Another swaddle that we got is this um, Swaddle Up um, by Love to Dream. You've probably seen these all over the place. And um, yeah, the one that we got is a size small, which is eight pounds to 13 pounds. So if it works out well, uh, we will get, you know, like the bigger size, but that's what it looks like. It's all gray and then it has a, uh, white and gray like prints um, along the sides. Uh, I will leave an image right here. This is the stroller and uh, car seat combo that we got. Uh, it was a very generous gift. I put it on a registry and um, we did have a few family members like group in and get that for us. So that was a huge surprise and uh, so happy that we were able to get that. And um, we have it put together downstairs and I'm actually going to probably put it up in her spare room because uh, I just don't want the dogs messing with it and stuff. But it's put together. We just have to put like the base and everything inside of the car. Alright, so since we showed you the car seat and the stroller combo, uh, let's go ahead and go into that stuff. 
Um, this is an infant carrier cover. Um, baby is supposed to be born at the end of March. Um, it's super cold here where I live and it doesn't usually start getting nice until about like May. So I'm not sure. Uh, hopefully we get some use out of this. I'm sure we will. And um, this is what it looks like. It's just a black, um, or is this gray? This, uh, it does look like it's a black, it's like black almost, maybe a dark gray color, but it will go perfect with um, our car seat that we got, like the colors. Uh, this was another thing that we got for the car seat, and it has different stages where you can use um, the, um, the headrest, and it just helps from baby's head, like, um, like um, shifting from side to side. So, and again, these colors will complement the um, car seat very well. Uh, you guys have to let me know in the comments down below. I did get these and I did show them to somebody and they had um, mixed feelings about these. They're strap covers and um, it just helps prevent strap irritation like on the sides of their neck. And it's, it has, it's like reversible so there's like a, like this inside is like super soft i'm not sure somebody said that uh that you shouldn't use these i'm not uh i might have to ask the pediatrician what their thoughts are but i did want these so i got them and i will keep them in the package until i find out for sure but if you guys have used these before or you guys know that they're okay to use um just let me know what your guys' thoughts are uh, down below, and like I said, I will ask uh, the pediatrician um, what uh, their thoughts are. I'm sure you guys have seen these. Uh, also, these are the mirrors that go um, in the back seat that um, face baby, and or yeah, the face baby, and then you're able to um, look in your rear view mirror to see baby um, and everything like that. So maybe I should, I'll go ahead and keep the instruction thing for my husband so he can put that in the car. Uh, we did get two different uh, car seat covers and they also are like those multi-use covers so you can use them for, it looks like a shopping cart, um, high chair, nursing covers, um, She's, this girl's using it as a scarf, um, and obviously, um, for the, the car seat cover, like I said. So, I got this green color, just like this, this green, and, oh, so that's pretty stretchy. I was worried that, like, when you have it, like, around you, that it wasn't going to be, like, very, like, stretchy around the neck but it's actually quite stretchy so we got that color and like i said i'm gonna take this stuff off i have to wash everything um, and then we also got this one from copper pearl and it's like this rust color one of my favorite colors i love this color too uh so we got this and yeah, this one's just as stretchy. I wonder, these are probably the same. It feels like the same uh, brand. And maybe it is. But, so we've got those two. And since we were just talking about, uh, since we were just talking about these can be used as like, um, when you're at the store, like a cart cover. Uh, we did get this cart cover. It is, um, all gray and then it has um like an orange color gray and white like arrows on it it does have a little pocket for like if you wanted to put like your phone inside um if you look up like i said i'll leave a link down below but you can um it's like in a vacuum seal thing i'm not going to take it out just yet because i'll wait until we are able to use it uh, but it does have like clips on it so you can put toys on there without the toys like the falling off teething toys um, and if you want to keep baby occupied you can put like your phone inside of this clear plastic sleeve so you don't have to worry about your phone 
So you have to worry about your phone falling out? Mm, bike shorts. I, it's just... No. Hi. <laughs> Uh, before I forget, I want to show you guys, uh, we did have some other things that are, were made for us. And my mother-in-law made this beautiful baby blanket. It's actually a quilt. And she knows I'm very simple. <laughs> I think I had said to her a million times, like, in just really simple colors. Um, because I wasn't sure at the time also... Um, like what colors I was gonna be doing here in the room, but it worked out perfect. So it just, it's a white quilt and it has um, these little foxes, like baby foxes on it. And it also has um, some uh, like little, like it says like dreamer, um, you are my sunshine, like little prints also on it. And it's just absolutely, beautiful it's something that um baby can just keep forever and yeah i was really excited about that and then another friend of ours couldn't make it to the shower but she made skyla and the baby both blankets so sweet i was so impressed with everything um and there's actually a sloth print and um this one has like little hedgehogs on it and the blanket's huge so i can't really hold it up but baby will definitely be nice and warm with all of these blankets and everything so uh for our diaper pail that we got it's one that we wanted i had tried to do as much research as i could on diaper pails like which one the best ones are the one that i went with was the U ubi it's like u b b i and i like that one because you're able to use any garbage bag you want you don't have to get like the diaper genie i think you have to get like the refills for it so i wanted one that i could just use regular bags with and it wasn't a huge issue if i didn't have like the refills so that's what i got it's still in the box um so uh i can put like a little clip right here and like i said that will be linked down below if you want to check that out uh, we do have different varieties of sound machines and lights and everything like that so I'm pretty sure we are set and um, super excited about our selections. But, uh, the first nightlight that we got is um, the Hatch. And this one, you can use your phone, like an app to control it if you want. Um, I have to do a little bit more research on it. I just know that it's a nightlight and a sound machine and I really wanted it and I got it. Uh, this one is really cool. I haven't seen this until recently. Um, somebody else had posted it on Instagram and had to give it a shot. It's a, it looks like, um, it looks like an egg almost and it's portable. So it does have a charging base, which is in this like little container here. Um, so you leave it on the charging base, probably where you mostly want it and um, you just touch it to turn it on and you control it I believe just with like your hand like the dimness if you want it brighter or um, not as bright but the good thing is is you can uh, take it off of its base if you're going like out to like the living room or you're going to the bedroom or you're changing baby somewhere else or whatever and you need a night light you don't have to worry about plugging this in you just take it with you and um, just when you need to when you're done with it or whatever you put it back on the base so it uh, stays charged so I will report back um, in a later video after baby gets here but uh, really excited um, but the reviews are really good on this so we will see uh, we did get a portable sound machine for the car seat or the um, stroller and this is the dream egg uh it looks like uh, this is what it looks like so it's not that big uh, there might be other colors too that you can get this one i just got the gray and white one and it comes with like a usb cord and uh, uh a ring which i'm not sure oh maybe if you, if you don't use like the the tie you can use the ring instead I'm going to try to keep some of this stuff together with like the user manuals because I, my husband's going to want to see like how everything works. And uh, We did get the baby shisher. 
Uh, and let's see. What is it? Uh, so this is what it looks like, and <laughs> it says it is the sleep miracle. Let's hope so. I hope that it is. All right, so let's get into some fun stuff. My, uh, uh, this gift was such a fun gift. I can't wait to use it. I used to be a uh, newborn photographer, so this baby is going to get plenty of pictures, I would imagine. <laughs> um, but this is a little set. It comes with, like, um, suspenders, and then also it's like a little hat. And also we have uh, two pairs of sunglasses, like sunglasses and reading glasses. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to take pictures. It'll be very exciting. To kind of go along with the photo prop stuff, I um, did register for this and I got it and it was like one of those little wooden cameras. I saw this, like I said, as I used to be a photographer, this uh, will fit perfect somewhere here in his nursery. I, I have still have like shelving and everything to put up so this will be super cute just to put on the shelf and uh, also use for a toy if he wants to play with it. The one baby book that I don't have up here that I got for um, our daughter was the uh, Dunder Mifflin elementary book <laughs> and it's um, based on the office but it is an, like a, a book when everybody from the office was like little and and in elementary school and it's just a fun book that um, our daughter can use and read to uh, her little brother so that is i'm not even sure where that is it's probably somewhere in my daughter's room uh but we did get a lot of fun books um my husband is a total rock star <laughs> so it was very necessary that we got some of these books and this is um the story of rock um we got this book, it's called The Babies Love to Rock. Uh, this one is Apples to Zeppelin. <laughs> uh, and then some other books that we got. Um, I'll Teach My Dog a Lot of Words. It's a Dr. Seuss book. Um, this one was a gift to Skyla and it's um, Big Sisters Are the Best. And then this one is called You're the Biggest. Uh, and we also did get uh, this baby book. This is Baby's First Year. The first year you're always wanting to get, capture like different um, milestones and everything. So I saw this. This is the one I wanted. And it covers pretty much everything. It's a simple book of all your baby's firsts. Uh, we got this fun uh, letter board, which maybe we'll, if I have room in my hospital bag, I'll bring this with to the hospital so that we can, if we want to use it for just like an um, uh, announcement picture with um, like the birth weight and uh, like how long he is and everything. So this is super cute. Love this idea. I didn't even think about this, uh, getting a milestone blanket. So I'm very excited that we got this because this is a, it's, um, I Will Move Mountains, and it is by Lulu Joe, um, and it's, um, for the first year, so you're able to lay it down and get all those cute, um, milestone pictures. Alright, so let's go ahead and move to, like, um, bath stuff, bath and, um, like, grooming, I guess. Uh, we got the nose Frida. We did take it out because I was trying to prove to my husband that <laughs> this is the um, snot sucker that you cannot get anything. Obviously, we weren't like trying to suck each other's snot out of our nose, but I was just trying to show him with some liquid that you're able to. Um, there's like a filter in here, and I attempted to use it with water, and that didn't work because it, obviously water can go through this filter. 
but he'll it'll be fine it'll be fine we're fine he'll use it and if you know whatever so we got this um and if baby has a stuffy nose then we can just use a snot sucker snot sucker <laughs> uh let's see here we got this nose frida grooming kit and it comes with a um, double-sided finger brush I imagine that is for maybe like when they start teething um a hairbrush a hair comb and then also um the nail file and nail scissors this is also by baby frida and it is to help and prevent um a cradle cap and it has like a bunch of different attachments um for the brush so um it looks like it has like a main uh this blue part is like the main part and then you can swap it out for different attachments it maybe looks like um so we will definitely use this uh just to prevent cradle cap or if baby does get cradle cap then you can use this as well as far as soaps go um we did get this avino um, baby wash and lotion set um so this will be good for like nighttime baths. Uh, we did get um, some Young Living products from their baby line. I'm so excited to use this stuff. Um, this is the baby wash and shampoo. Uh, we got baby lotion, linen spray, and then also uh, these um, wipes. So can't wait to use those. We got this rubber ducky, and it's a rubber ducky and a thermometer. And I thought maybe I will try to use this because I even wanted to take a bath so bad. I have taken a couple throughout this pregnancy, but I get really worried that the water is too hot or whatever. And I end up taking just like a cold bath, and it's not really enjoyable. When I know that you can have it, it's like body temperature. So maybe I'll, I'll try this out um, and see how well it works. But this will come in handy when it's time for um, baby boy to be like in the big bathtub just to make sure that um, the water is not too hot or not too cold. Uh, this is a set of six um, baby washcloths and it's by um, Burt's Bees in their 100% uh, organic um, uh, washcloths. Uh, they feel super soft. And I will put them with the rest of the stuff that just needs to get washed and put away. Now we got a um, we got two sets of the Burt's Bees uh, hooded towels. Um, we have a gray and bumblebee set, and then also this one is has bumblebees on it, but it looks like it maybe has it has the alphabet, and then this one is like a gray and white um, stripe. Um, this is from Skip Hop, and it is the, um, a whale, I think it's supposed to be, yeah, it's the shape of a whale, and it's just to help, like, rinse baby's hair off and, and body and stuff, and it wouldn't be a bath without a bathtub, <laughs> so we got the gray and white um, angel care one that has, like, all these, like, holes in here, and it's supposed to um, be um, good for baby and baby won't slip and fall out of it i'm not sure um it's just a bath support bathtub you can use this for um zero to six months uh, as far as toys and stuff i didn't really register for anything because i want to wait um until we need that stuff i wanted to keep more of the focus on the stuff that we actually like needed right when we have baby uh, but we did get this uh, gifted to us and it is a little people's um, nativity set it's a deluxe Christmas story um, it does say that the age range is one to five years as far as um, when they anticipate uh, babies would want to play with this but our baby boy will be uh, let's see here like nine months eight or nine months around the time Christmas comes so I'm sure that uh, baby will love to play this and for years to come. Oh, we got this tummy time mat and it um, is, it has like different, um, like as baby gets older, just different activities uh, just to keep up with them so that you're not overstimulating them. Uh, and then we also got this sit me up. It is the, um, the lamb and it comes with a tray as well. And then also with some toys like attachments. 
and I believe that you can get like other attachments with them. You don't have to use like these particular ones that they they came with. Um, I think Fisher Price makes other ones that you can clip on there. So uh, I love the colors. It's like gray and white mostly, and then it has like an outline of like this teal color, which was um, really nice. I thought. Huh, they were not joking when they say that you get a lot of clothes at baby showers so I'm gonna go ahead and brush through these um, and uh, if you guys don't see any links below because not everything has tags on them you can always um, ask me in the comments if you see something like oh that's super nice or super cute whatever um, I can you can ask me and I will like look at the actual tag uh, to help you out and see if I can uh, locate where um the clothes are from if they do have a tag i'll you know go ahead and just say where they're from this is um a set from carter's and it comes with like pants a onesie and then a hood with and the hood has like like little um like bare airs on them um another set from carter's it says mommy and me and it has milk and cookies on here and it also comes with a hat uh, this set is um, from Carter's as well, and it has little mittens on here. It's for three months, and it's, um, it also comes with a pair of socks and a hat, and it has uh, trees on here and squirrels, and it looks like maybe trucks and stuff. Um, this cute, um, I believe these are just called like rompers. Um, this is from uh, Janie and Jack. And it also has a little back pocket, <laughs> just in case, I don't know, they want to carry a toy with them, I don't know. Um, but it also has a, like, a pouch um, in the front here. Uh, this is a Gerber set, and it says, today is awesome, it has a little fox on here, comes with a hat, and then also a, um, like, a, like a sleeper, footy sleeper, and also a pair of pants. Uh, this set is from Carter's as well, and it has dinosaurs on here, and it comes with a pair of pants. Uh, here is a cute onesie. I've never heard of this brand before. It's called Rabbit and Bear. Um, you can just tell the quality. I'm not sure like what the actual fabric is, but it's super soft. Uh, it's really cute. It's just blue and white stripes. Oh, and it comes with a pair of pants. <laughs> uh, we did get this um, hat set. It's a cat and then mittens. Uh, we got this little elf um, costume and oh, it's like a sleeper. <laughs> it's, oh my gosh, it's adorable. It's by um, Carter's and it's nine months. So like I said, that will be perfect timing to wear um, for baby um, just around Christmas time. He'll fit perfect in this. Uh, this is another Gerber set and this says um, cutest cub. And it comes with a pair of footy pajama or footy bottoms, like pants with like little foots. And the top um, has like snaps down the side. And then a hat. I love this onesie. Oh my gosh. It says A B C D instead of A C D C. <laughs> I'm kind of bummed that it's six months only because I want him to wear this like immediately. Uh, so it's six months, so we have to wait until he's six months old uh, to wear this, but he will definitely wear it and I can't wait. Uh, this is another Carter sleeper and it has dinosaurs on here and it's um, a zipper onesie. I was really excited about these. <laughs> uh, these are Kite Baby. I'm sure you've seen um, the Kite Baby um, ads or if you're on Instagram. Um, but this is a zero to three months one, and it um, it's a footy one, so it has little feet. Uh, we did get ones um, with uh, giraffes on here, green, this really pretty green color, and then we also got. Um, a um a nightgown um uh, and it has has mittens i believe that this this size is it's zero to three months so he can wear this you know right away and these are great i had these with my daughter except for they didn't have like the tie at the bottom they had like the elastic so i'm really excited about these ones because um 
sometimes with the elastic you have to make sure that they like get big enough um so that it's easy to get like their feet out and we did register for these and we got them and it's just basic gerber white onesies these are both zero to three months one is just like a short sleeve and then one is um long sleeve uh last but not least i did um talk about this in a previous video but my mother-in-law made this and i'm bringing this with to the hospital i have a couple hats that i'm bringing with to the hospital and I will be doing like a hospital bag video um, in what we're bringing for us and also for the baby. But I did show her this picture of a hat that I really wanted. And um, I have a couple other ones that I bought from another shop that have, that have like the pom-pom on the top and um, like a knit. But I wanted just a white one with a pom-pom on the top and uh my mother-in-law made that for him, so I cannot wait for him to wear this. Uh, I believe that she, um, this is like the, like the three month one, like three month size. She said that the newborn one was like super, super small, so she made this one. And I have a feeling that this would be able to fit him right away, it's pretty small. But I will bring it to the hospital just so we can at least get some pictures with him uh, wearing this. But this is exactly what I wanted. I love it. And it was so sweet that she um, took the time to to make that. So I hope that you guys enjoyed um, seeing everything that I got for my baby shower. It was an amazing day. I couldn't have asked for a better um, baby shower. I was actually originally wanting to throw myself a shower. And, and I honestly don't think I could have done um, a better job myself. So uh, some advice or like I said, if you're having a baby shower... Um, if you're throwing someone else a baby shower ever, um, uh, these are things that we did at my baby shower and I loved and appreciated so much. Um, the first thing was we had a diaper raffle. That was huge because I was blown away with everybody that brought diapers and wipes and everything. Um, we have so many diapers. It's great. Uh, especially those first couple months. I don't think we're going to have to buy any diapers at all. And same thing with the wipes. So having a diaper raffle, um, super nice, super generous. If people bring diapers, if not, not a big deal. But if they do, um, then you are um, set for a while. Another thing that goes along with the diapers is we did a uh, diaper message, like where uh, for late night diaper changes. We got so many cute messages. I didn't go through them all because I kind of want to be surprised, but I'm really excited to share those maybe like over um, on my Instagram during uh, late night diaper changes, but that's a really cute idea. Um, all you need is diapers. Um, I recommend doing, um, if not doing all newborn diapers, um, maybe like size one. Uh, you can throw like a different mix in there if you want. Uh, but don't do all newborn diapers because if baby comes out and baby's only in newborn diapers for, you know, a couple days or I mean, depending on how big your baby is, um, you won't be able to enjoy those late night diaper messages that people um, write uh, on the diapers. Um, and my other suggestion with those would be just make sure that you use like a fine um, point um, Sharpie, not the ultra fine, just like the regular fine point. And just do a couple test um, messages on diapers to make sure that um, the Sharpie doesn't like bleed through because some Sharpies are different than others. So that's my advice um, with that. Uh, we did do a couple games which was fun and uh, the one of the, it wasn't a game and it, I didn't even know about this until after I got home and my sister-in-law had packed up some stuff for me was I, uh, Wishes for Baby and everybody can write their name so you know like like who wished what for baby and there's like a whole list you can find them on pinterest uh, it's really cool to see what um family and friends are hoping and wishing for um, your baby and it will be nice for him to have one day so he can see you know what who so and so um wished well for him and like i said there's a whole list on on pinterest but i believe it's called wishes for baby um, and you can find different templates and different ideas on Pinterest. Uh, like I said, the whole shower was amazing. And, uh, the one thing that I wasn't expecting, and I would have never thought of this personally, 
was my sister-in-law pre-printed and um, gave me thank you cards um, obviously blank but um, with pre-printed uh, return like address label things on there so everybody had um, I had envelopes and blank card thank you cards with the same like kind of theme from the shower I didn't have to print anything out all I had to do was take that thank you card and I can write my personalized um, thank you in each card for everybody put it in the envelope obviously put a stamp on there and send it out but that was so thoughtful of her to do that because um that does take time to you know print things out and uh make sure like everybody's addresses are you know right and everything like that so that was really neat i was not expecting that so if you were throwing somebody a baby shower and um or if you ever have the opportunity to throw somebody a shower give them thank you cards the envelopes and address labels for everybody just so that when they get home they can look at um, their reference list of anybody that kept track of gifts and um all they have to do is write in the thank you cards and then uh send out the thank you cards it's super easy uh leave me a comment down below if um i'm forgetting anything as far as what i need for baby um i know i do need to get some more like swaddles and stuff um but i think i have everything else but if there's anything that you maybe you got at your baby shower or you have on your registry and you're like you should definitely look into this um let me know in the comments down below i would um love to hear any advice or other recommendations that you guys have now i have to clean all this up <laughs> and uh do a lot of laundry so maybe that will be a whole nother video uh, but thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye Thank you.